Hello, everyone! Welcome to episode 58 of the Guild City to the Lost Kingdom. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. We've all been very busy. Uh, but we are excited to be here. We're very, very close to the end. Um, we'll see if we get to the end in the next uh, session or two here. But uh, if you're excited to see the end of this adventure, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on social media at the links in the description. Um, and, uh, of course, leave us a comment. Talk, tell us about what you're uh, excited to see. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in to tonight's episode. Content warning. Ravenloft is a setting, can feature disturbing themes and ideas, and while it is never going to be our intention to upset anyone, it is worth noting. Specific tags can be found in the description of this episode. Last time, the Golden Flames Chosen attacked the secret headquarters of the Silver Flame Fundamentalists. After an intense battle, the party managed to defeat the opposition, slaying all of them except Dagrin, who they initially took captive. After some discussion of how to move forward, including the fact that probably need to abandon this base um, ASAP, Artemis confronted his brother, searching for some semblance of regret in Dagrin. Dagrin defended his actions as necessary, and so Artemis executed him. Uh, he then broke down crying in Bowman's arms, but felt a stirring of pleasure from the Silver Flame. That is where we left off. Artemis, as you are standing in this crypt, uh, you know, in Bowman's arms, you after a moment, become aware of the sound of someone else crying nearby. Um, and it becomes very quickly apparent to you that it's your mother. I don't necessarily think Artie has the words at the moment to yeah. even handle that. Bowman, just based on the angle, you know, Artemis is kind of buried in your chest, but you can see Dagrin, dead body on the ground, still chained up, and Artemis's mother kind of has just fallen to her knees and is, like, sobbing, you know, by Dagrin's body. I mean, you know, I, I you know, just as a reminder, you know that, like, based on the conversation she and Artemis had earlier, she was aware that this was something that may need to happen, but obviously still not uh, enthused about it. Yeah. Um, I think Bowman right now in this situation is just... He's never had to deal with the consequences of other people doing the things that Bowman would have done. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, in a, so I think he's trying very hard to just be empathetic. Yeah. Uh, and in that moment, he uh, he just he try, he tries to hold Artemis in just one arm, and at the same time, just tries to scoop up uh, Mrs. Bright. Well, Artemis, Artemis's mom, mm. and just start carrying them away. Yeah. 
yeah, you move, you know, slowly out of the room as you're sort of trying to help the two, um, the final two remaining members of Artemis's family out of the room. Um, eventually, as you sort of approach the sort of entryway area to the crypt, you see that, like, the rest of the party is there, uh, as are uh, uh, Nemesis and uh, uh, Terran are, are both there as well. Um, Terran says, um, so, um, <clears throat> The plan is still to go to the sewers for a, a few hours until you can contact uh, your uh, friend, your ally, your relative, the, the missing royal. Yes, the um, we should recuperate and try to gather as much money we have left. Bandage our wounds, distribute food if needed to, take a breath necessarily. There's no reason for us to, you know, go in there without all the means to. So. Right. Um, okay. Well, let's sent some sent the rest of them ahead so we can uh, begin making our way up the, the cliff side and find her there everywhere everybody else is sort of camped out um and you begin departing um I think I'm gonna bring Dagrin's body with me you you want to bring Dagrin's Dagrin I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hoist him and carry him um, what's everybody else doing? As you see, Artemis, Artemis has to like extricate himself from Bowman's arms, go back, and drag Dagrin's body. Dagrin is bigger than Artemis and is wearing pretty heavy armor. So this is like a lot of work for Artemis. You can all tell that it's a lot of work for Artemis to be carrying Dagrin's body. I mean, I feel like we do, we, we assemble as pallbearers and, like, assist. Yeah. Um, I feel like not a cart here that we can put his body on. I haven't checked for one. I'll ask what's his name. Taryn? Taryn? Um, Taryn says, um, well, even if there were, we do have to climb up the steep stairs up the Cliff side. That's fine. Let's go. How about how about Artemis and I will carry Daggerin. Um, Nix, if you wouldn't mind, while we're carrying him, just kind of slice off the bands that hold his armor onto him, so it just falls off of him, so it's a little bit easier for us. Isn't he naked anyway? I'm gonna pull his clothes off. I do. I do think you. I oh. took his gear off. That's true. So he doesn't have his gear. Nick, he is you, still... just cut that last strap that's yeah. keeping his underwear he, off. He is still he is still a bulky guy. Um, so he is heavier than Could than we get like a sheet to put over him or something? Uh yeah. Uh Nemesis quickly runs back in and grabs a, a large sheet. I'm just gonna him. hand that wrap to him, bundle him. All right. Okay, we're gonna pretend this is healthy. Let's go, guys. Um, <laughs> the judgment coming from Benny. I, you, you. That's okay. You want to take his body? That's well within your right to take his body. I think that's. I mean, someone has to take his body. He's got to be buried. Also, we have fought zombies before, and I don't want to fight this again. So. Uh... Better to take him with us. Or burn him, but I don't want to say that out loud by... Never mind. <laughs> Look at Artemis' mom. Um, this is going really well. We handle grief and complex emotions really well here. You all 
I mean, again, it is slow moving and it's late. It's it's dark, so it's a it's a kind of a difficult climb up these stairs, um, up this like cliff face. And but eventually, you reach sort of the outspout uh, uh from the sewers that you you know you all use as sort of an exit. Um, and get into the sewers. I would say this probably takes you takes you. I would say probably an hour or two to get to the place where the rest of the Silver Flame Fundamentalists have sort of camped out in, in the sewers here. And they just sort of have taken over kind of an intersection in the sewers. They've lit some torches. They've, you know, laid out some bedrolls on the walkways on either side. It's sort of the drainage channels in the middle. Um, and, um, you know, you, you all arrive there. Everybody's, you know, sort of chattering a little bit, but they all kind of quiet down um, as you all approach. Um, you can see, you know, some of them are bandaging wounds or fixing up some armor or whatever. Um, there's clearly, like, quite a bit of nerves. People, you know, this is it's kind of a big moment, right? Uh, this is a very small, very ragtag group who's about to blow up a few military bases is going to potentially have some monsters come out to help them fight the army and all in an attempt to buy you guys time to defeat the golden flame um what uh what is i guess everybody... I'll, I'll set down dagron okay somewhere yeah um and we will uh, just kind of address all of them. Yeah. I know this probably isn't what you imagined, or maybe it is. But in a few hours' time, everything's going to be over. Things can get back on track. Everyone will be okay. We have to trust in ourselves, trust in yourself. Watch out for each other's back. Our group's going to be doing the heavy lifting. Do your job, then get out, stay hidden, right? It's just like any other mission you've been running. Except this time, it might be the last one. We'll get it done. And then we won't have to go skulking around in sewers like this anymore. Um, there's some, you know, light applause, a couple of cheers, and, uh, Taryn Duran pats your back and says, Thank you, Lord Brightshield. Um, I know this has been a difficult evening for you, but I just want you to know that we will do our jobs and do everything we can to distract the army while you do what needs to be done. And we will look forward to seeing the sun of the material plane shine on Oikos again. And we will look forward to the coronation of a new ruler of Oikos. Um, Onward. Yes, take what time you need, do what preparations you all need. Um, I would, again, be... Um, actually, Lord Brightshield, um, as you can see, and he taps his cane that he's always walking with on the ground again, I am not particularly mobile anymore, but I do have some magic at my disposal. If you are amenable to it, I would be honored to protect your mother during today's events. Um, yes, please. And if you could also just keep Dagrin's body safe. Yes, I will. Are there any funerary um, rites you would like me to perform to prepare him for I 
I don't know. Uh, the tradition states that members of the um, royal family are to be um, uh, cremated in a grand ceremony, but uh, I will defer to whatever judgment you have. None of that will be necessary. Just the body itself. Uh, I'm not done with him yet. Very well, Lord Lightshield, as you say. Um, and he will cast, actually, will cast a quick spell on it. Um, Disintegrate. No, what's the spell? I'm, <laughs> I'm actually blanking on the name of the spell. But it's the spell that, that just keeps, keeps bodies okay from decomposing. One that, gentle repose, is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the spell he casts on. Um, just to sort of keep it, you know, in the state that it's in. Um, you, you guys have a few hours before dawn, which was when Nyx wanted to wait until so that her, uh orary can reset. Um, you do not have enough time before dawn to take a true long rest. So obviously you can take a short rest or you do have those potions. Um, also, keep in mind that someone needs to contact Ariadne still. Uh, Zuzu, you're muted. If we are going to use the potions, I can do the sending spell before we take the potions, so I don't have to waste a spell slot. And I can send her a message. Great. And yeah. I'll say, go ahead, Sam. Oh, sorry, the potions are instantaneous, right? Like we just potions. Take... It's, it's a, a it's one a minute. one minute long rest. Okay. So we'll just stagger it over three minutes. I might just take a short rest and recover some. Hit points with hit die. Um, Short rests don't recover any spell slots, though, right? No, they do not. Okay. No, no. I didn't use that many spells, but I really just need to wait till dawn to do potion. Must be nice. Sounds really great for you, Nix. Well, she can look over us. That's true. No pressure. Yeah, I'm going to use my potion okay. for sure. Um, and I'm also, I think I'm going to go through and adjust some of the spells I have if I have time yeah. to do that too. Yeah, you absolutely have time to change out your prepared spells okay. um, as well if you'd like to do that. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, Hayes did not die, did get dismissed last combat. I don't think so um but if he lost hit points the way to get them back is to dismiss him and resummon him um but or i could heal him or you could heal him up to you up to you i uh, do that i think cyprus is also in cyprus is condition or is still around anyway yeah he's injured um uh if, if cyprus is injured why don't i'm just gonna say that Bowman used his land hands, which he still has a full tank of, uh, on Hayes and Cypress to get them back to health. How what's what Cypress is max? Um his max is 59. He's got 39 currently, so he's down 20. Okay, I can give you 20. That's that's fine. Thanks, he says. <laughs> well, thanks there. Well, thank you. That's very kind. I think um, I'm going to take my potion too, but before I do, I think I'm going to use curse casting to take 40 damage and call my familiar in case he's useful. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Um great. Um, and then Zuzu, you were gonna send that message. Yes. Ariadne, my girl. How are you? Things here are bad. Already killed Dagrin, which had to happen. 
but now we need to, oh, I don't need to count this. Now we need to go after the golden flame. So if you have ways to seed chaos in the city so that that can be a distraction, we would love it if you could help us out at this time. Wait, you're sending message, not sending? No, I'm doing sending. You're doing sending? Sending is 25 I words. Okay. What? Well, yeah. can't, I can't message her because she's not. She's too far away for you to message. Oh, fine. Ariadne, my girl, how are you? Still That's using the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The first spell slot, oh, spent second spell slot going. Anyway, continue. <laughs> Dagger and dead. <laughs> Please send help. Uh, we are in sewers. That Ready to make our move. Ready to make move. Love you, Penny. XOXO Gossip Girl. <laughs> uh, after a moment, you get a response. I thought that was you all entering the sewers. Girl's a little weird. Well, Love her. you know, Queen. she talks to the rats, so. <laughs> uh... I will send my allies to sow chaos in the army when you're ready. I will come to you. Um, there you go. All right. Um, so who all is taking this potion? One, two, three, four, five. Everybody but Nick is taking Okay, great. Um, yeah, you all take your potions. You're sort of getting ready. Is there anything else anybody wants to try to do before the final battle? I mean, things, it's been a crazy couple hours here. Elena, you're still kind of dealing with that whole vision conversation you had with your sister upon yep. attuning to the book. Um, Artemis, obviously, just killed his brother. Um, so, you know, there's a lot going on right now. Is there anything, anything anybody is doing to physically, mentally, emotionally prepare yourselves before the final battle? Yes, Janara. I'm assuming since I can do inspiring leader every short rest, I can do it every long rest too. So can yes, I yes, inspiring yes. leader. So 18 temporary hit points to everyone who short rested or took potion. Yes, you. Very good. I hope. Yeah. Because I have we haven't done short rests very often. Right. I have as many hit dice as like. As level I am? Yeah. Okay, this will be great. Yeah. Um. Artie's okay. just stoic. Yeah. He'll sit down somewhere. Play with Ara, I'll say while you're in your sort of incapacitated state from drinking the potion, you sort of just hear the voice of hope come to you excuse me, come to you and say, Janara, I can sense there's a great deal of trepidation amongst your group. That would make sense. Hope in empath can sense that we're uh, anxious. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I, as always, will lend you the power that I can to see you through this, but your your friends are hurting, and you have been so good at being a rock for them. I think they might need you to perform that duty before you go into battle. Like... What do you mean? What what do you think would be helpful? Your friends are 
hurting, particularly your friend Artemis, particularly your friend Elena. I think, well, you know your friends better than I do. <laughs> But that's fair. I think your friend Artemis he just had to do something terrible to someone who he well it, it was family to him. Um I imagine he's feeling a great deal of guilt. And Elena has her own struggles, and she masks them well, but assuring her that you're there would probably help. That's very wise. Um, I will do that. Good luck. I will be with you. Thank you. Um, as I sort of come to, I think I'm going to go check on Artemis. Yeah. First, just because he, you know, like, yeah, he was very, very fresh. Yeah. Artemis is still out when you get over to him, and I will just quickly say, Artemis, while you are incapacitated from drinking this potion, you find yourself before the Silver Flame. Uh, it's been a while since you spoke directly with the Flame because of the intrusions of the Golden Flame. But for a moment, you are able to connect with your deity. Uh, well done, Artemis. You are so close to finishing this. Soon, Oikos will be back where it belongs. Its people will be worshipping who they were meant to. And you will fulfill your family's destiny. I didn't do it for you. But if we all get there in the end. I understand that what you did was difficult, but it was the right thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. So, city comes back. Well, get rid of Golden Flame. Bring back the city. Cause a brief geopolitical conflict. Easy, right? Nothing we cannot handle. Together. When we return, I will be. I will be able to be more present. I will be able to offer your you guidance more frequently, and and we can move Oikos into a new. Well, I don't want to say golden age. A new sure. Silver Age. Yeah, all in due time. I am pleased with the progress you have made. I know... I know that I have told you this before, that... It was originally meant to be your brother. But I am glad that this has fallen to you instead. You are better. Yeah. 
If he came back and the Golden Flame wasn't affecting him, would you give him another chance? There's a slight ripple in the flames in front of you. And the silver flame is silent for a few moments. That, I suppose, would depend on him. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll see. As I told you before, I don't control your actions. The Golden Flame did not control his. He made his choices. Yeah. Well, speaking of him, I'm gonna go kill that son of a bitch. And I will lend you all the power I can to see the task done. Thanks. Oh, I'm gonna want a really bitchin' crown for all this. Just the, saying. The flame brightens again, and you will have earned no less. And you awake, uh, and Janara is, is there beside you. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> hey, Artie. I just wanted to uh, come and see how you're doing. You're probably not doing great, but um, I wanted to check in. I... We'll see, I suppose. Um... I thought your removing curse would work. I really did. Yeah, I was really hoping it would. I really, really was. If we make it out of this, you know, or if I don't and y'all do, um, we got to give him another chance. And if he's still a son of a bitch, then I'll do it again, but... If that's Maybe. what you want, that's what we'll do. Yeah. If he can be free of this thing, or its pressures, or its influence, I don't expect that he'll ever really want to speak to me again, and probably he would come back and try to kill me later on in my life, but... I don't know. I feel like I owe him that much. He's not been the best influence in your life, but I understand that he is your brother. Yeah. Um. Do you trust the Silver Flame still? Hmm. I really don't know. Um, I mean, he's, it's on the level of, of the, the Raven Queen, right? I mean, these are, these are gods we're talking about. Yeah. I don't think I can actually understand what they want or what they don't want. I get that. But he's, he's never, it's never tried to control me that I know of. So if it starts being a a problem, then we well, if we learn how to kill one pseudo-god, then maybe we learn how to kill another. Well, hopefully we don't have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I don't want I want to be cautious about just, you know, we know that it's going to unleash whatever the hell the collar or anything else is going to, there's going to be a bigger problem here. I don't think the gods are really going to think that's that big of a deal, but. Yeah. Well, 
If you need anything, I'm here for you. Thanks. Probably I could use a couple stuns pretty soon. It's probably not as fun as you think it is. Yeah. Thanks. And I'll go over to Alina? Yeah. Janara, uh, you make your way over to Alina, who's sort of finished her sort of minute of rest after the potions and probably right now is sort of preparing her spells for the upcoming battle as you sort of come over. Hey, I just wanted to check in and see how you've been. Thank you. Um, the, uh, the book isn't exactly what I thought it would be, and that's been tough, but I think I understand um, that what I was actually looking for is uh, not possible. And uh, I think I knew that for a long time, but I'll see my sister one day. That can still be really hard to um, come to terms with, though. Yes, thank you. I really appreciate you checking. I've, uh, I grew up in a family of adventurers and, uh, the thing that my parents always taught me is that the people that you um, choose to risk your life with really are your family. And I just hope you know that um, you really are considered to be a part of our family. That means a lot. It's been a while um, and I'm really happy to have found you guys. We're happy to have found you too. Um, while that conversation is going on, Artemis, your mom comes over to you and, um, you know, her eyes are quite red, um, but she sort of sits down on the floor next to you and says, um, I, um, I heard you were going to, um, try to bring your brother back. Sorry, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we have the means, so... I don't know, maybe even if he is understandably pissed about it, um... Maybe we just part ways. Maybe he sticks around. I don't know. You've also thrown him in the dungeon. Maybe. Maybe that's what it deserves. I think that he was under an immense amount of pressure to fulfill the family prophecy. And I think the only way to help him move past that is by keeping him close. And I know that there are risks involved with that. But I think long term it's the only way to get your brother back, or maybe that's not the right word, but to find a better version of Dacrin, perhaps, is a better way to phrase it. Yeah. Any regrets marrying into this crazy family? I have you. Oh. No. 
I'll try and keep it that way for you. And I will try not to um, lose my mind about Terran Duran and his uh, sycophantic nature while he's protecting me. Yeah. I think he means well. He's just very devout. Yeah. Well, they're not all bad. I'll just, like, nod over towards Alina. No. That is true. Uh, she sort of pats your leg. I wish you didn't have to be putting yourself in danger like this. Yeah, well, that's the gig. Take care of yourself. I'll be all right. Um, down one of the side passages, I would say, is uh, Bowman and Penny and Nyx. What are the three of you sort of doing? You know, Janara is talking to Alina. Artemis is talking to his mom. What are the rest of you up to right now? Are we all sitting near each other? Yeah. I'm just going to be, like, sitting there, and I don't have anything to do because I don't have any spells to change mm. or, like, weapons to clean or skills to hone or gods to talk to. So I'm just going to be twiddling my thumbs. Do you guys remember when freedom came to us? I'm referring to... Nixon Bowman here. Do you guys remember that? You remember her, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you remember how she came to call in a favor because she did something for all of us? Yeah. Yeah. And we never talked about it ever. Did we? No, we never talked about it. I think Nix alluded to the fact that she was in prison once. And so we all inferred that that was the favor. Yeah. Yeah. Bowman, what was yours? Well, I've I guess there's no reason hiding it from you two. I've kind of all my cards are really on the table at this point. I would say probably, yep. Yeah. Um well, when you are hiding from a certain government body, the Sword Coast Federation, it is often best to Resume a identity that is not your own. So, uh, freedom was my hookup and my contact to uh, get oh. green cards, a green a green card into the city and uh, false false documents that allowed me to basically live. So, hmm. and next year's was getting out of prison. Yeah, that makes we were out of strike. And the stupid police just arrested a bunch of us. And so she she got a lot of us out of out of prison. Hmm. What about you? Uh, oh wait a second. If she got a lot of them out of prison, why where are those suckers? Why are they here in all those? <laughs> well, I say a lot. There were like four of us. Well, where the fuck are those three others? Um, no longer with us. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I just, I was really not, I was very surprised that that was the answer that happened. I'm really sorry if you knew them and that that was a loss for you. I, well, I just mean they're not in, they weren't in Waterdeep anymore. Oh. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> You know, I think that when all of this is done and we're finally back in Waterdeep, but then we kill Fear Kindler and have to do some sort of multidimensional great worm travel situation. Yeah. After that, I think all of us should definitely go to a group therapy session. Oh, I thought you were going to say retire. I oh, but maybe also that. 
Wait, yeah. Penny, how, how did you know freedom? Yeah, what was your favor? Oh, mine was to get into a better hospital for my mom. Because she was really sick. But she died anyways. Whoops. All right. I, I often think back to that day, meeting all of you and not really knowing any of you personally at that time. But I think the reason why Freedom, who probably had a lot more favors to call in, by the way, she dealt with a lot more people than just us. Right. She probably picked the individuals that had the most compassion and the most sympathy to just to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we really give her much credit to actually putting us all together. We did do a pretty good job. <laughs> it's yeah, she picked a great team. Yeah, eerily good. I think uh something's going on with that. Anyways, oh, it's almost like she had the influence of a all seeing <laughs> God guiding her actions or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um we should probably get her like a nice floral arrangement when we get back. Oh my god. I honestly we're kind of fucking loaded. We really Oh yeah, we should get her like a house. Get her a house. Like on on like the you know the countryside. Kind yeah, of like stuff. a nice house, not like a middle class house. Oh no, no. I'm talking like it has an exterior wall so sh none of her enemies can get into it. Mm. Yeah. We should probably buy a lot of people houses. Nah, yeah. Well, we have a lot of people that have done really nice things for us. It's just you guys for me. I don't know about you, but it's just you guys. And freedom. And freedom. That is, that's what I said. Oh, okay. Um, at this point in the conversation, you hear some like startled yelps from some of the guards, and you quickly turn and see Ariadne approaching, all six arms like raised. I come in peace. That's our Please. girl. What are you doing to her? Uh, sorry, we were just uh uh sorry. Being speciesist was oh. what you were doing. Also, can we talk about how you just did a yelp and we're about to go into battle? Um, you might need to toughen up in the next few minutes or so. Not to the soldier that. embarrassed, like just <laughs> holds hood down as far as he can. Um Ariadne sort of approaches and says. Well, my um, monstrous allies are ready to attack various military garrisons throughout the city, so I doubt the populace will look upon them with much pleasure, but then neither did I, so. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Do you need, like, a, a payment for this? Like, should we give you, like, a... No, I would just like to s make sure that my father is no more. Oh, okay. Do you want, like, his head or something like that? that no, that is, that's... That's... Our team. I'll take your word for it. Well, um, yeah, at this point, everyone's gathered, everyone's ready, everyone's prepared. Um, is it and Odrin? and Nyx, your orrery dings as everything resets? Oh, like is a toaster it, oven, like, like a toaster oven. Bake oven. Yes. Yes. I, I'm pretty sure. Nix installed the, like that wasn't a required piece of the puzzle. <laughs> Nix that installed the bell. Driver. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and magically, your orrery knows that dawn has occurred, even though we're underground. Even though you're underground, but I can't see the sun. Um, Taryn and Ariadne both come over to you, Artemis. You can tell that neither of them are like super comfortable with the other. Um, but they both come over to you, and Taryn says, uh, Lord Brightshield, we are prepared. 
when you give the word. And Ariadne also says, Little nephew, I am also ready. Right, well. We don't kill unless we have to. That's the deal, right? Yep. As you say. Um, and you hear words of, you know, affirming that all around. All right. Um, Let's go save the world. And you all stand up. Everybody starts dispersing off in their various directions. Uh, Ariadne packs you on the back with three of her arms, and then hmm. slithers off to where uh, uh, where she will be attacking, and uh, Nemesis actually stays with you all and says, I will be leading you to your uh, exit point from the sewers. Um, and then joining up with another unit. So. Alright. We all... We all good? All right. All right. With that, you all run off down the sewers. Nemesis has led you all down through a series of tunnels here in these sewers, thanks to the diagrams you all found. You reach a part that clearly had been walled off until very recently, as in probably the fundamentalists have opened this up within the last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um she leads you through this sort of crumbling brick wall into clearly an older and less used part of the sewers uh you start actually sloping upward steadily and she says some others went ahead to secure the exit point um whatever's going on Make a break for the cathedral. That's where the golden flame will be. Good luck. And she pushes open a sewer grate above above you. You clam you all clamber up into a toilet room, a bathroom in the castle. Um, you see the dead body of a guard on the floor, um, or knocked out. It's unclear one or the other um but you quickly Literally, i gave one order <laughs> gave one order uh you can't tell he could he could be unconscious um but nemesis quickly guides you out of this room and you step out into this sort of front hall you can see light streaming in through the windows and you see there's like five silver flame fundamentalists fighting clearly a losing battle against 10 or so 10 or so um golden flame knights and nemesis quickly draws her weapons and she points to the door and says go out across the way is the cathedral good luck and she runs and joins her comrades um as they fight for their lives Ooh. i mean as we run i'll just Throw a couple of Eldritch Blasts that way. Sure, yeah, you toss out a couple of Eldritch Blasts. Go ahead and roll for, you know, however, however many of them you want. Uh, we'll do. I think I send three now? Do I send three? I think so. You're level 16. I do three. Um, 29. 29, all right. Uh, yeah, You. I mean, you, you know, if you want, we can use a 29 for all of them, so. Sure. Uh, you make impacts. One of them, one of the guys, like, hits the wall on impact, and the Silver Flame Fundamentalist, like, clocks him hard over the head with the hilt of their sword, and he drops to the ground. Um, and you all burst out the door, briefly blinded by the light, because you've been underground since the sun rose. So, um, but it's, it's still early morning, so the sun's not that high in the sky yet. Cloud, the there's still some, like, pinkish in the clouds from the sunrise. And a right across this, like, this is a beautiful area of the city. I mean, there's 
you know, immaculate, like, trees and shrubbery, like, a paved stone sort of courtyard. Behind you is the palace, is the castle. And in front of you is a truly enormous cathedral. And the there's sort of stained glass windows on the uh, front side and a series of, uh, uh, you know, grand steps up to the front doors of the cathedral and you can see sort of the the this air this district has its own sets of walls you see like troops at the top of the walls see you all they start drawing bows to fire and then all of a sudden coming out of the sky is a winged demon who like slams into the uh into the castle parapets and starts like go and ham on these guys, and they have to quickly turn and start firing their arrows at this demon. Um, clearly, uh, it's a good thing you got Ariadne on board. Um, you dash across here, and as you approach, you can see sort of the stained glass windows of this place are, uh, you know, feature images of the golden flame Artemis that you you've seen you've seen him in you know in your in a couple of visions before golden skin white hair golden wings um sort of uh descending from the sky and these truly massive wooden doors at the top of the uh staircase are closed and await your entry I mean, let's go. Yeah. With, oh, um, if we if we have, no, we're still outside. Like you're outside. Still... Yes. Yeah, let's get inside. The doors are closed, right? Yeah. Can I just do something really quick? And it's it's just for me, really. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this any other time. I'm going to blow the doors open with some dynamite. <laughs> Yes, absolutely, absolutely. You set the dynamite charges around the doors. All right. Three, two, one. Massive explosion. The doors are blown off their hinges uh, and slam onto the floor of the cathedral interior with a loud bang. As you sort of enter over the wreckage of the doors, you actually see that they're both kind of like tilted upward a little bit because they've crushed several pews um, in the back of the cathedral. What an entrance. Do we all strike a really cool pose when we come in? <laughs> I really hope this wasn't a historically protected site. <laughs> As you... It probably was. <laughs> <laughs> Magic exists. It can be rebuilt. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, while while he's setting all the the fuses and things, I will. I'm gonna do a, a third level uh, aid on mm. myself, Elena, and well, Bowman's busy. I'll do Janara. Okay. Um. So that is an increase in the hit point maximum, uh, by ten, and that does not replace the eighteen temporary. Great. Um. Okay. You all enter in through these front doors. You see sort of this grand stone floor um, in various colors and patterns. There's sort of a, a, a center dark stone strip and then a lighter stone strip and rows of columns supporting a vaulted ceiling maybe a hundred feet above you. Uh, and even beyond the columns is sort of a checkered floor pattern. Uh, as you walk up this sort of center aisle, you see Artemis, as you've seen in your visions before, a grand obelisk has been recently erected at the far end of the cathedral. And you can actually see that it's in front of a statue of angels that is built around an organ. Um, so that's behind where the obelisk is. Uh, the obelisk has been, where it's been constructed is clearly in the middle of where, like, if there were active worships happening here, 
where like the choir or band or what have you would be seated and would be playing their music. Um, and that's sort of the area where the obelisk is in. As you get close to sort of the T-junction of this cathedral, you see there's sort of a, the stonework in the floor has been made into kind of a, a star pattern. And as you approach this area, you hear echoing the voice of the golden flame Apollo Bright Shield III. He descends from the ceiling, floating down, and says, Artemis, it truly did not have to be this way, but you have taken every single opportunity to make this harder than it needs to be. I give you one final chance to surrender. Surrender. Allow me to drain the silver flame from you. Ascend to God. I will bring Oikos home, and you and your friends will be free to go. Um, sorry, I'm looking very quickly for the description of a spell. Sorry. Dee, 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 dee. Temporary, yeah, overrides temporary. Um, I will nod, look around at everyone else, say, sorry, I don't think we like your methods. And if I can, I'm going to drink the potion of fire resistance. Okay. So yeah, you get you get the potion in, and I'll have everybody roll initiative. Here we go. Here, Here we, we go. go. Thank you, Nix, for the potion of fire resistance. <laughs> All right. Um. Next, what'd you get? Uh, 25. Whoa. Artemis. I also rolled a 25. Nice. Janara. 10. Okay. Bowman. <laughs> 18. What was that? 18. 18. Penny. 22. 22. And Elena. Yeah, that's a 9. A nine. Great. Hey, you're not alone down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, good go good job spreading across the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Good, we'll good do spread. clean up. We'll be cleanup crew. Cleanup <laughs> <laughs> crew. Hell yeah. You mean the finishers. All right. Yeah. 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 Finishers. All right. Leading us off in initiative order will be Artemis, then Nix. Uh then Penny, then layer action. Uh, um, just yeah. to let you know, there is a layer action. It's uh, a church. Yeah. It's going to be the bell's it's, toll or it's some shit. It's his layer. Also, you should bring up the battle map. Sorry, I should have mentioned that already. <laughs> oh, then yeah. Bowman, then... Uh, uh, so Bowman's right after the layer action. Then it's Janara, then Elena, and finally the Golden Flame. He rolled badly, so. Okay, and can you say after Bowman again? Because I'm just trying to find the button okay. for it. After Bowman, it's Janara, then Elena, then the Golden Flame. Also, where is the button for? What do you mean? Whoa! It's, it's not on the screen anymore. You have to go back to your character. You have to go to... Oh. Where's the button for automatically defeat enemy? It's mm, a good question. Uh, you guys can also reposition yourself some if you want, uh, but you can't really go much further forward than I than the pews in front of you, I'll say. I like how we're all at church together. We are. Yeah, I'll stick my bird back here. Look at this little guy. He's so silly. Look at his little ascot. 
He's a cutie. I like the big ominous star in the back. <laughs> that is the obelisk. Just so <laughs> you know. Mm, I don't like that. That that was the power up. It's so big. We're gonna have to attack that thing too. Yeah. Oh god, I don't know what the hell to do. But just move the obelisk closer to us, guys. Could I ask, um, just for a uh, what is the the light level in the church? Uh, it is pretty bright. But I will say there are areas of, there are some shadowed areas. So like, for instance, if you were to go up like, I'm trying to ping a spot. Oh, I had the wrong thing. If you were to go like up over here, you can see, if you can see like at the north end mm -hmm. of the church, right? How there's the sort of archway here. You could go under there and get into some shadows. Okay. So. So pretty. Also, All right. Yeah, this All map right. is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, from the Patreon I subscribe to for uh, maps, uh, check out the link in the description below if you are interested in that. Uh, they don't sponsor us. I just like JPEGU's maps. They're really nice. Um, oh, wait, that organ is gorgeous. Wait, yeah. we're not getting sponsored? No. 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 I'll talk to you. In fact, I'm paying them to use the map. Um <laughs> I have my familiar there too, but can I just say I have him sort of like hiding somewhere for right now? Yeah, actually, you know what? Let me just drop a little token in for your familiar. Stained glass. Can I go to church here? You know what? I would. I would go to church if this is. I I go to church here every single day. We need to make churches like this again. It does kind of remind me of like the. It's now tiny. Is church that, that was here? literally in the palace of versailles because mm. you know they had to have a church in in the palace yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. also obvious obvi. <laughs> can't go to church with the peasants no <laughs> that would that would be too much uh ben is Angels it, aren't wearing feet i was gonna say is it safe Wait, to say shoes middle uh middle statue is of the golden flame uh the oh the the statue around the organ yeah uh no those just seem to be like generic angels okay you are not you are not sure if those an those angels probably were already there and the golden flame co-opted the iconography mm -hmm. cuz this building's definitely like ancient so, so it is on the national it registry. is on the National Lexus. Registry. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get sued. All right. Work. Is everybody ready? No. I hope so. Okay. okay. First up is Artemis. <gasps> okay. Um. Okay, I am going to zip off somewhere that gives us a little more breathing room. Let's see. How far can I get? Move back. Yeah, about there-ish. So we're gonna... Wait, I didn't even see where it was. Whatever. Somewhere around here. Zip on over to there. Okay. Um, just so that in case there's an area of effect something, we're not all clustered together. Right. Um, then I am going to, as I'm leaping, you know, very cool over the back of a pew. Yeah. Um, and running forward, I am going to at <clears throat> i'm gonna try and hit him where it hurts i'm going to try a third level no i'm gonna try a fourth level shatter on the obelisk right go for it um that is a what's the save on that con con 21 on 21 all right you leaping over point your finger out and there's a huge thunderous noise as you cast Shatter. Um, and it fails. The obelisk gets a 15. Amazing. So that is going to be 5d8. I think D&D Beyond accidentally rolled it for me. That's I'm fine. Confused. Go ahead and roll. Now there's just dice all over my screen. 5d8. Come on. 5d8. Go for it. And I think actually I upcast this. 
Wait, so there should be more d8. No? No, that is the correct. 5d8. Right. Obviously, that's not the base. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, that'd be crazy for a second one that spell. Hey, a boy can dream. Do I have another d8 anywhere? Yes. 5d8. Whee! Four, four, eight, eight, one. Okay. What is that math, everyone? That is... What is three? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three eighths is 24? Uh, 24, 25 tw points total. Right. One in there. 25. Excellent. 25 points of thunder damage. Great. Uh, as you pass this, you see the obelisk, like, shake very, uh, shake a bit, and, like, little bits of rubble fall from it. Um, obelisk still looking pretty solid, but you definitely did damage to it. Great. Um, how heavy do these pews feel? They, they seemed pretty solid when you leaped over. Pretty solid? Okay. Is there... Uh, I mean, we're probably the only ones that have trashed this place, but is there rubble anywhere? Maybe back by the doors? Yeah, they're way back by the doors, where, because you did blow up the doors to get in. Yeah. I'm, I got a crazy idea. Oh, that's 75, 80, 90. I'm gonna have Cypress just, like, head back to the doors and pick up some rubble. Okay. In his... Claws. Okay. Zipping back here. Um with a plan on trying to drop them on someone's head later. Great. Love it. Um right. let's see here. Bonus action. We will Um we will Hexblade's curse on the Golden Flame. Okay. And that is me. Okay. At the end of your turn, the Golden Flame is going to spend two legendary actions to cast a spell. Uh, he is going to cast... He casts... Uh, he sighs and says... Very well. We'll do this the hard way. And he points his hand behind him and uh, casts Guardian of Faith. Um, and uh, that'll be the placeholder. Uh, right by the obelisk. Um, spends two legendary actions to do that. Darn. I cast Shatter too early. So. Uh, and that's his legendary action. That means that it is now Nyx's turn. Okay. Um, I am going to um, turn something on Ori. That I'm going. I'm going to activate Portent of the Stars. Okay. Nope. Just kidding. Alter Gravity. Just kidding. Alter Gravity. Okay. Um, to cast Fly on myself. Great. And then I would like to fly up to like where the the chandeliers are. On the right. Yeah. Okay. And then bonus action hide. Yeah, go and make a self check for me as you fly up and and try to get yourself lost in the chandeliers. Uh, twenty six. Twenty six. Okay, great. We all think Nyx just burns up in the chandeliers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you you feel pretty hidden up there. Did you already move your token? No, I didn't. Okay. But I just did. You you get yourself lost up there pretty good, and you're like, all right, unless unless he's got 
you know, uh, uh, true uh, all-seeing abilities, unless he's omnipotent, you feel pretty hidden. Um, but that spirit guardian has no idea. That spirit guardian, guardian has right. no idea. Or guardian of faith, yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's Nyx's turn. Penny, that brings us to you. Okay, um, we're gonna go 25 feet, ooh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so that I have them all in a line before Bowman gets right up to them and then I can't cast this spell. Um, okay, I will just say, the golden flame is actually flying about 30 feet up in the air. Okay, I think... So, like, if you're trying to get the obelisk and the guardian of faith, okay. uh, you cannot get the golden flame. Okay. Bowman could just throw her up in the air. Hmm... <laughs> throw me up in the air. Um, okay, but I could get the obelisk and the guardian. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do lightning bolt. So it's a deck save for both of them. Obelisk fails the deck save. Guardian of Faith uh is ethereal and doesn't take any damage. But the obelisk fails the deck save, so roll full damage. Okay, amazing. The guardian dissipates a different way. Well, then I'm counting, sorry. No, nope, you're fine. Seven. Oh, okay. 13, 18, 22, 28, 31, 36. 36 points of damage. Very nice. You... There's a blast of electricity from the end of your gun, and it smacks right into the center of the obelisk, leaving a burnt mark on the front of it. Okay, and then I'll action surge, and when I action surge, I can teleport, so I'm going to teleport back the 30 feet to where I was before. Okay. So I'll aim at the golden flame. Okay. Nice. So that's going to be... What is that? Is that plus 15? Plus 13. Okay, so the lowest one was 26 to hit. Okay. Um, here's what happens. You aim your gun at the golden flame. You fire. Bullet flies through the air. Should impact him right in the chest. As the bullet reaches him, there's a spark of electricity against an invisible barrier, and you see a quick thread of magic. It's a flash. You almost missed it, connecting the golden flame to the obelisk. Uh, and the golden flame doesn't take any damage. Okay, annoying, whatever. That's my turn then. Okay. That brings us to the obelisk, uh, which is, of course, the layer actions. So, uh, good news, none of you are particularly close. Bad news, Artemis, I think you are just within range of it. Yes, you oh are. My to do its thing. Um, <laughs> for right. you. Uh, so, Artemis, I would like you to make me a charisma saving throw. Which I know oh. is good for you. I don't know. That could go pretty badly. Okay. Charisma saving throw? That's insane. Uh, 24. I rolled 20, a 12. 24. Okay. Um, that is a success. Um, so, but you, what, what you feel, you feel a pulse of energy from the obelisk. And as it hits you, you feel, you feel panic from the silver flame. And you very briefly see silver fire streaking off the end of your fingers towards the obelisk, but you pull it back in. Oh, I can't get close to this thing. Damn. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. It is a charisma saving throw, which you are good at. Uh, could, and Could we don't... see 
anything like come from the obelisk towards Artemis? Like, is that it's was kind of an like... invisible pulse of magic? So, um, now you don't know like mechanically what exactly would happen, uh, if it succeeded on you, but I'm just letting you know that it is trying to do something regarding your powers. Okay. Um, that brings us to Bowman. All right, Ben, I got a lot of questions mechanically to ask. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> the only reason why you're here for it. Right? That's right, that's right. Okay. I know holding an action is a thing in this game. Holding movement, is that a thing that can You cannot happen? hold movement. Okay, good to know. Secondly, this is what I like to do. Hey, I'm going to have Hayes move first. Hayes is going to take the dash action and pick up Janara and take her take her right around here. Okay. 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 Because when you're riding him out, she, he only can take do half his speed. Dash action would be 50 feet. Sure. Um sounds good. Well, seems above board. Uh and drop Janara off just behind this pillar. Okay. So okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move. Hayes right here. Janara, I'm going to put you right here. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That will be Hayes' turn. Yeah. Bowman is just going to... Yeah. Move right to behind this pew. Now, can Bowman hide? Like it's a full. It's a full. It, it is an action to hide, but yeah, you can attempt to hide. Okay. Um, regardless, the pew will give you half cover, so okay. that boosts your AC and uh, and dexterity saving throws. Okay, so I will. I will do that, and that's you know that's all I can really do. Okay. Well, are you trying to hide or just take cover? Uh, hi. Why not? Okay, make a skill check. <laughs> Um, has a 14 sound. You feel like the Golden Flame can still see you. You feel pretty <laughs> confident the Golden Flame knows you're there. He saw you sprint forward and slide behind the piece. <laughs> um, feet up in the air. <laughs> he's 30 feet up in the air as well. That is also accurate. All right. Um, and as I will say, as a bonus action, I will just do, um, uh, thunderous smite as a You've got that ready to go. At the end of your turn, uh, the golden flame is going to use his last legendary action. He is going to, uh, look at you, Artemis, and say, <sighs> Don't you know how much better gold is than silver? And Bro. A ball of golden energy is going to gather in his hand, and he's going to shoot it at you. Absolutely brutal. He got me. Wrecked Does me. a 20 hit. Um, uh, I don't trust this. Yeah, I'll let it hit. Okay. Great. So, you are going to take... All fire damage, You're going right? to take 20 Radiance damage. Ooh! Okay. Thank you, Janara's temporary hit points. <laughs> um, speaking of Janara, it is Janara's turn. Great. I have enough movement to get up to new creepy dude. Yep. Thank you. So, um, I, I would tell you before you do anything against it, it was unaffected by the lightning bolt. That is true. So. Good reminder. That's a good reminder. Question for you is, um, because it's an area of effect. Oh, I did not mean to, to roll anything. I didn't even know what I hit. Um, is it considered a construct? No, it's not a construct. It's sort of, it's, that's just a placeholder. So, oh, do you mean the pillar or the obelisk, or do you mean the... The obelisk. The obelisk, yes, is considered a construct. Um, 
really quick, actually, I do need something from you. I do need you to make a dexterity saving throw as you get close to this um, guardian of faith. This be good. 19? 19 is a failure. You take 20 radiant damage as the guardian of faith swings I, down. Um, I have it because of my ability. You have it. So you take 10 radiant damage. So uh, the guardian of faith, the blade swings down at you and there's a blast of divine light as this um, translucent uh, uh you know, warrior of the golden flame hits you with its uh, giant sword. The lightning didn't do any damage, fudge. Um, I am going to goodness. Uh, okay, I'm going to play it safe then. Can I try to magically punch it and see if I do any damage? You swing, pass through thin air. Passes through thin air. Cool. All right. Let's say that's my bonus action with my uh with my monk abilities. Yeah. For my main action, then I am going to. You know what? Am I thirty feet away from the golden flame, or no? Because he's up in the air. He is up in the air. He's 30 feet up in the air. You are 15 feet away from him on the ground. So that's like 40, 45-ish feet away from you. And they said the Pythagorean theorem. I'm not doing the Pythagorean theorem. It's 40, 45-ish. It's cool. somewhere in there. <laughs> um, mm, I've fudged this. I'm going to... You know what? I'm real close to them and I'm in danger. I will just cast mirror image on myself. That's where okay. Great. Off. You cast mirror image. Perfect. Good call. All right. I'll do that. That's something at least. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm going to bone it. I'm going to spend a key point and disengage because I can do that too. I think. Okay. And I'm just gonna take, give me, put me like close to the middle in between them. Okay. Oh, I can't. I have no more movement. I lied. I can't do that. I'm okay. done. Great. All right. Elena, it's your turn. Okay. I do have technical question. Yeah. Yeah. Go for okay. it. So movement and then dash and then bonus action that gives me flying ability do i then get to use that flying distance or no read me the text of the bonus action as a bonus action when you're in dim light or darkness you can magically give yourself flying speed equal to that of your walking speed for one minute so you don't automatically gain back movement at that point but on all subsequent turns you would be able to fly okay basically all right, so I'm going to use all of my movement then, plus dash, I think, because that's the only way I can get into. Oh, oh wow, okay. Get, like, over here. Okay, great. Um, and then I'm going to bonus action steps of night because you said that's like dim light over in that yeah, area, right? Dim light over there. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, so that's that's it for me for this turn. Awesome. Y'all, it's the golden flames turn. Oh boy. Oh. <clears throat> the golden flame is going to look around at all of you. And is going to say, Pitiful attempt. Let me show you the power of a god. And he's going to cast a spell. So let's see, I get some, some orbs here. Uh, perfect. 
perfect, perfect. Okay, so what? It's one screen. here. One? Yeah, one. We'll put one. Anyone back have? Here. Yeah. There's a reason I've been holding my reaction. It's for shit like this. Are you gonna uh, counter spell? Uh, if this is one of multiple orbs, oh yeah, that one. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Holy shit. No, sir. Not in my house. You're not a god yet. Counterspell. What the hell? Counterspell. Okay, what level are you casting it at? We are going to throw a... Okay, I need... Do I need my seventh level? No, I don't think... I think you've got something bigger in the back. I'm going to throw a fifth level counter spell. Okay, I need you to roll for me then. Uh, D20 plus your charisma modifier. Ooh, um, that is a 10 plus six, 16. 16 is a failure, the spell goes off. Oh. Uh, okay, this is just gonna take me a moment here. Don't Don't worry about me. Um, as you all, uh, you see even got these Cypress? giant orbs, these giant, and uh, luckily he doesn't know where Nyx is. Um, so Nyx is just outside of the radius of that one, uh, because he's just basically making his best guess because he saw Nyx fly over in that direction. Um, these giant orbs of Flame and radiant energy come rocketing out of the ceiling, slamming down in all of your spaces here. Uh, so this is actually going to be two types of damage. The first type of damage, uh, I need everybody actually to make me a saving throw of some kind. A dexterity saving throw. So I'd love dexterity saving throws for Seventy-seven. What? Don't worry about. It. Why worry did it just say seventy-seven? Seventy-seven. Elf. That's points? our. That's our dexterity saving throw. Oh. Okay. What? What's happening? Okay. Can I have a mirror image. Take this. Uh, you're still uh, in the area of effect. It has to be something. <laughs> uh, what did everybody get on their deck saves? Except Nyx. Bowman got a 29. That is a success. 20. 20. 24 is a success. 20 is 20. a failure. Just 21. 21 is a success. Oh, your boy's feeling 22. 22 is a success. 18. 18. Wait, 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 wait. I use, I use Portent of the Stars on Penny, and Penny can roll a d10 and add the number. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, oh. Good Come on, call. you just need you Good just need call. a three? Three. Three or higher. That's 18 plus seven. All right, that's Good. a success. So you all succeed. Mm -hmm. You're still gonna take a fuck ton of damage here. So Artemis, actually that potion of fire resistance is also gonna come in handy here. Ew. So first of all, everybody takes the full damage. So there's you're taking some damage, fire damage, some damage, radiant damage. So the fire damage, the full damage would have been 77. Because you all succeeded, that's cut in half to 38. And Artemis, you can cut that in half again to 19. So I, I can't uncanny dodge this, can I? That's, I believe, an attack rule. Okay. Um, so Artemis takes 19 fire damage. Everybody else takes 38 fire damage. Then... You also take some radiant damage. Ugh. Um, you all succeeded. Again, the full damage would have been 67 radiant damage, but instead oh. you all take 33 radiant damage. As he casts a modified meteor swarm. I can't I half that, so that's 17, right? Yes. 
So wait, how how much damage? I sorry, I, I blacked out. Uh, the, it's 33. I'm thirty eight plus thirty three. Thirty eight plus thirty three. Yes. The obelisk is just fucked. Oh, good. Oh, was, good. Yeah. oh cool. In case Very you good. Were worried, That's, yeah, you know. I, was, I was concerned for it. Um, this is—he does know this is a historical site. This is—I right? was just about to say, motherfucker. Uh, is every single piece of wood now on fire in here? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pews are on fire now. Um, or yeah, or completely shattered. You know, one or the other. Um. Uh. <clears throat> That's his action. On his bonus action, um, oh. he is going to uh, point at the obelisk, which is going to... Let me get the ruler out here. Obviously. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dropping this. That moment when your DM says, okay. let me get the ruler out here. Okay, so Janara, Elena, and Hayes, and... Oh, wait, let me see if Bowman's also in that radius. Bowman's just outside of that radius. Oh, wait. Cypress is dead. Oh. Cypress is so oh, gone. Shit. Oh, yeah. Is Hayes still alive? Hayes is gone. Okay. Yeah. So just Janara and Alina, then. Oh, Janara, great. Janara and Alina, I need strength saving throws from both of you. Couldn't have been a wisdom save. Nine. Nine is a failure. Well... 12 is also a failure. So you both take ba -ba -ba -ba. Look for Alina to try to help Alina. You both take 13 radiant damage and you are also both pushed 20 feet directly away from the obelisk. Mm -hmm, fuck that. <laughs> That's 7 damage if it's halved, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it was a strength save, so it doesn't, your evasion doesn't apply. It only applies for dex saves. But it's radiant damage, right? I have It's radiant. Oh, you have resistance to radiant damage. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, so I have to move 20 feet. You have to move 20 back. feet directly back from the obelisk. Does that just push me into the wall then? Yeah, basically. Towards the golden flame, please. Um, I don't think I can go further than that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually pleased with that. Thank Good. You. I'm not. Right. I was trying to get closer to it. <laughs> um. Okay, that's the Golden Flames action and bonus action. He's still 30 feet up in the air uh, and feeling good. So he's going to not worry about moving just now. He's dealing radiant damage, so he probably has resistance to radiant damage. And that brings us to the end of his turn. And the end of round one. And with that, we will see everybody next time. Have a good night. <laughs>